Okay, everybody, welcome to today's webinar. It's about kids, health challenges, and essential oils. And your uh, oil coaches for today are myself, Trisha Sheehan, and also Debbie Rooney and Mohita Patel. And um, we are all colleagues on the same team and work together to share education about essential oils. And um, we're going to take a maximum of one hour today to talk about kids and safe usage and give you lots of ideas. Um, so this is us. We all happen to have three kids, just quizzed <laughs> <laughs> um, But we've got the, you know, wide range of ages covered. And even though none of us have little babies anymore, we've all had them and fully understand the struggle. The struggle is so real with the little ones. And I only wish that I knew about essential oils when mine were much younger because yeah. just when I say that all the time, uh, it would have helped so much. So if you're even catching this when you're pregnant, kudos to you because these will be such a huge help for you um, as you get going with the kiddos. And so uh, we've all been using essential oils, um, you know, ranging from about one year to I don't know, Mojita, how long have you been using oils? Five years? Seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have a lot of experience and we um, research them every day, learn about them every day, and we're here to um, coach and empower. Um, so I'm gonna kick it off and then I'll and then I'll turn it over to the other ladies. But basically, um, the goal here today is not to teach you every single thing there ever is to know about essential oils and kids. It's just to give you a flavor for it because otherwise we'd be sitting here for a week straight. <laughs> and, you know, when your kids have a, a struggle, we just want you to feel like you know all of your options that are in front of you. you know, typically, if your kid has an issue and you go talk to a conventional doctor, they're going to give you some of your options, but they're not going to talk to you about all of your options. We just think it's your right to know what all your options are so you can make the best choice for your family and whether your kids are sick or they're having emotional issues or not sleeping well, they need help with studying, whatever it might be. Um, Mother Nature has our backs and has a way to help us out with all the different challenges, you know, both reactively and proactively with our kids. Um, in case you are completely new to essential oils, we'll just take a minute to explain what the heck these things are. Um, I like to explain it as thinking about a plant out in nature. It's completely defenseless. It can't move. It has no urgent care to go to. It has no pharmaceuticals. It has to truly take care of itself. And the essential oils that it creates are its defense mechanism, its immune system, its cellular communication system. And it's really brilliant and amazing. Mother Nature is just really quite remarkable. Um, the oils are highly concentrated um, and they contain hundreds of natural com compounds and they help the plants to resist um, virus and bacteria, to ward off predators, uh, protect itself from the sun, protect itself from insects. Um, they can even help um, competing plants from planting themselves too closely, just all kinds of remarkable things. And, um, and on a very cellular level, human biology is quite similar to plant biology. So um, the things that it can do for a plant, the oils can also do for us. So this is a snapshot on the left of my new medicine cabinet. It looks very different than it did a few years ago and might look very different than what you have in your you know, bathroom or, or cabinet. And um, you know, these are just natural solutions that work with your body, not they don't trick your body or try to cover things up. Um, it truly works with the biology of your body in a very natural way. Um, over here on the right, I'm just showing how effective they are because um, all oils to one degree or another are antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial, some stronger than others. But this is a snapshot of our um, blend called On Guard and how it killed um, germs better than conventional solutions. So this was a science experiment that showed how, uh, how well it did. Um, and then up here on the right are just um, some uh, bottles of oils. And you can see that um, it's quite a few drops. So uh, one, you, you can invest in a bottle of essential oil and it takes you a really long way because there's a lot of drops in there and you don't need much. Um, as we get into talking about solutions, 
Um, we're not going to get into itty bitty details. We just want to give you high level ideas. But just so you know how, how we're talking about using essential oils, there's four primary ways. The first way is topically, which means putting it on your skin. Uh, second way is aromatically, which means breathing them in. You can also add them to personal care products like lotions um, and also internal use. Now, this is something that we're not going to get into because we don't recommend internal use for babies or, or young kids. But just so that you know that this is um, a way to use essential oils for, um, for adults when appropriate. And if you'd like to learn more about that, we can get into that at another time. Um, but that's how we're talking about using it with the kids. Aromatically, breathing them in, topically on your skin, and adding them to personal care products. I um, also want to share some safety information before we get into the details. Um, obviously, these um, oils are very concentrated and should be used in a therapeutic way, just like you would use any other product that you're using when it comes to kids' health. Um, so it's very important to use them mindfully and carefully. Um, when you're applying them to kids' skin, it's very important to dilute them. And what I mean by that is, um, putting them in some carrier oil. A popular one is fractionated coconut. Um, some other examples are jojoba oil, almond oil. Some people even use olive oil if they don't mind smelling like a, an Italian kitchen. But you want to um, dilute it so that um, it doesn't irritate the skin. And um, you know, especially kids might have uh, more issues with skin sensitivity. So we're just always going to dilute the oils. Um, and it's also good to do a little patch test. Put some on them just a little bit, make sure there's no irritation before um, moving forward. Um, just also keep them out of reach of your kids, just like you would any other wellness-related product. Um, you can get extra uh, caps, child-resistant caps, if you have a child who's a very curious child, um, to make sure they don't get into them. They should be stored away from excessive heat and light so that the uh, properties of the oils don't change. And uh, we don't put oils inside uh, eyes, ears, or nose. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, and even with older kids, these things are, are wonderful because you know some kids are able to start applying them on their own, but um, you'll wanna be sure to teach them how to do it properly. Um, also, um, some uh, oils are photosensitive. The, this is the citrus oils. What that means is if you put them on your skin, it could cause you to be more likely to have a sunburn. So especially with um, summer coming up, we just wanna be careful that to let you know that you don't want to use a citrus oil on a child's skin who's gonna be out in the sunlight. And those could be reserved for nighttime use or perhaps bottom of the feet that are gonna be covered up by socks. Um, also just uh, no peppermint on the face or chest of a baby who's under three years old, just to protect their, their respiratory system. Um, if you need this uh, written down or reviewed one-on-one, -on -one, we're happy to do that. Just let us know that you would like a, a consultation about safety. But nothing to be scared of. This is just uh, some precautions so you know what you're doing and feel really comfortable with using them. Um, some of the oils are called hot oils, which means they're very strong, and um, we just like to be extra careful with these around children, so we want you to see what they are. We're happy to send you a list if you need a list, um, and this is just a quick little guide on how to dilute essential oils according to age. Um, if you're browsing around the internet, you might see some discrepancies here. All of the dilution charts are not exactly the same. Um, but we like to teach to go low and slow. There's no need to waste oils or to overdo it. Um, and a little bit goes a long way, but just know that they might vary a little bit and um, we recommend kind of going on the low side. Um, we are all um, with uh, doTERRA and we want to tell you just for a moment why we love doTERRA so much. And um, you know, there's several different brands of essential oils available. But it's just really important that you all know that there's different grades of oils and some of them are not uh, high enough quality to use with your children. Um, luckily, um, doTERRA makes um, oils that are just of the highest quality, they're therapeutic grade. Um, and what they do that's different than everyone else is they have transparency of their testing data by batch. So some, another company might say, you know, this is the testing data that we got on our oils, you know, at some point, some year, some time. Well, these are coming from plants in nature. There's variations in 
um, weather and other conditions. And so the oils can vary as well. So doTERRA te te tests every single batch and makes that information available to us. And this is something that no one else is doing and it's really important. Um, also something unique that doTERRA does is um, their sourcing. Um, which is so important. Obviously, you know, we know when it, we come to, you know, food and other things that the, the quality and where it comes from means everything. And the same is true for oils. So doTERRA gets their oils from the place in the world where that plant grows naturally. And um, if you think about it, you know, the, a plant in its natural habitat is going to produce a different oil than it would somewhere else. So plant, uh, lavender plant growing in Bulgaria is gonna produce different oil than a lavender plant growing in Kentucky because it's said it's natural weather, natural um, predators, all those sorts of things. Um, also doTERRA does co-impact sourcing, which means um, they ensure that it's a win-win situation for everyone involved, including the farmers and the environment. So we really partner with the farmers around the world to make sure that the farms are um, to our standards, which are beyond organic, and they have everything they need to um, to farm and and harvest properly. Um, we pay them fair wages, um, all those sorts of things. And if that resonates with you, we can get you a lot more details about that. But just know that it's just an amazing company um, that uh, doesn't take advantage of anybody and really protects the environment, all that good stuff. Um, also with doTERRA, you get free coaching on how to use your oils so that you don't just buy them and then they sit in the drawer because you forgot what the heck to do with them. All the free coaching you ever need is included. We want you to feel like you really know what you're doing and um, have lots of ways to get you lots of good tips and information. So we fully trust uh, doTERRA and um, just want to make sure that you know that the quality of the essential oil matters, matters greatly. So our presentation today is about doTERRA oils because we feel that they can be really trusted with your children. Um, I'm going to get into a little bit of information about babies and then Mohit is going to cover elementary age kids and Debbie's going to cover teenagers. Um, we're just going to give you a couple ideas to give you a sense. Um, this is in no way an exhaustive list. We have, um, we have online classes and a vibrant Facebook group where we share a lot more ideas um, if you would like to join us in there. But just to give you some examples of things that oils can help with in little ones. First is um, calming them down. Obviously we know they have temper tantrums and they go through different stages, you know, separation anxiety. Um, so the oils can really help with this. Um, oils do cross the blood brain barrier, so it really impacts um, brain health and emotions. Um, and this here is uh, showing a roller ball. This is just an empty glass container that you fill up. Um, it has carrier oil and some essential oils. And you can easily apply this to your child. Um, typically, someplace like the bottom of feet and spine, someplace they're not going to touch it and then get it into their eyes. Um, and it's pretty remarkable how well these work. And um, people often don't believe it until they try it for themselves. And then they decide they can't go anywhere without their roller ball. Um, it can also be used for um, diaper rashes. So, um, you know, typically if a baby's skin is very irritated, um, a conventional solution would be to put something on it that contains chemicals. And that's something, um, obviously, that's, that's not healthy for our kids. And the body's just going to have to get, get rid of that chemical. And it could even be further irritating. So um, essential oils provide a really wonderful natural solution. And this is really all things skin related from um, rashes to bug bites uh, to scratches, all those sorts of things. Um, also for teething, teething is hard on our babies and it's hard on the parents. Um, you can use some clove and some lavender um, diluted rubbed on the jawline to really get them some relief from that, um, from that discomfort. Um, quick reminder, we don't use oils like right around the nose of a baby just um, to make sure it doesn't uh, cause any problems with their respiratory system. Um, bottoms of the feet and spine are great application points. Um, it's going to absorb into their skin and circulate through their bodies very quickly. Um, we talked about peppermint and hot oils and being super extra careful with those um, and likely avoiding those under three years old. Um, and I would just encourage you, if you have a baby, you know, you're trying to decide what the best solution is, you know, obviously the, um, if your baby's having a challenge, you have to 
there, you need something to help you, you had to uh, look at risks and rewards. So if you're looking at, you know, something that your doctor prescribed versus something that came from a plant, you know, what are the risks and rewards of all of your options? And, um, you know, the uh, essential oils have, uh, have no side effects. So it's often just a really um, gentle way to regain uh, balance in the body and um, making sure that it's diluted will make sure it's really, really safe for your baby. A couple more ideas, um, you know, babies, you know, if they're um, getting sick and they need some support, their immune system needs some help or they need some uh, help with clear breathing, the oils are wonderful for that. Um, babies also get a lot of ear discomfort and ear issues and the oils can be very, very soothing for that. We just uh, put it right around the outside of the ear. Um, thyme, geranium, uh, others are melaleuca and basil and lavender. Um, the good thing about oils is you, you can go really far with just a basic collection. So we're giving you some ideas here. Um, but say if you said to us, you know, my baby's having a lot of ear discomfort and I don't have thyme or geranium, we can say that's no problem because you can go with melaleuca and lavender. Um, so there's always another option. You don't have to have every single oil that ever existed. A basic collection really takes you far and there's lots of different options um, for different challenges. Can I jump in for a second, Trisha? Yeah, um, sure. This is one of those I wish I had known back then kind of things for me as a mom. My youngest is the kid that had multiple ear infections, had recurrent ear fluid, has gone through two sets of tubes. Um, and I can tell you how many times I took him to the doctor and they said, yeah, he's got some fluid. It's not infected enough yet. We're not going to give you an antibiotic and let, sent me home to just do Advil and Tylenol. And if I had had this back then, he, he would have probably felt so much better and we probably would have had such better results for him that um, it kills me that I didn't know this back then. Yeah, that's kind of our story as well. Um, our youngest had a bunch of ear infections when he was really little. And um, I didn't know at the time that typically when you're having ear issues like that, it's often um, viral, not bacterial. And um, when we gave him the antibiotics for a viral problem, it just caused him a lot of stomach issues. Um, and so now whenever he has like the discomfort starts or any of them say, my ear hurts, something that, and sometimes I even do this for myself. We just rub, um, typically in our house, we use basil, melaleuca, and lavender right around the ear or even um, dropped onto a cotton ball and put just right on the outside of the ear. And it's just amazing how fast that discomfort goes away. I just, if I hadn't seen it myself, it would be hard to believe, but it just has happened enough times that even my husband, who's the biggest skeptic in the world, has to admit now that there's something to it. <laughs> um, obviously, sleep is a huge issue with babies. And so if they're having a sleep disturbance or just struggling, the oils can be such a wonderful option. And um, I'm showing a lot of roller balls here, but um, you can also use a diffuser, um, which I'll just show mine here real quick. It's just a small little device. You put some water in it and, um, and some essential oils, and then you hit go, and it just disperses the oils into the air, and it's super gentle, um, but very effective, and it makes the air smell really nice. And so putting this in the, in the bedroom provides a lot of really good support. Um, and you know, if you need them to sleep, you're looking to you know, optimize their immune system or clear up their breathing or whatever it is. Um, you can choose um, a couple of oils to put in the diffuser. Um, also, a lot of babies have problems with digestive issues, gassy bellies, that sort of stuff. Um, we have a blend called Digest Zen that's amazing for that. Um, and basically, when you see a blend like that, doTERRA puts together multiple oils that work together synergistically to have like a really um, wonderful effect. They work together to address a problem. Um, versus you know an oil one oil by itself so they combine them and we have multiple blends that are um, for specific issues like that um okay anybody want to uh anything else about babies before we move on to elementary kids all right i'm gonna pass it to mojita for some some ideas on the a uh, little bit older kids all right um so yeah talking about elementary school aged kids um 
also a lot of this is overlap when we're talking about the babies and we're talking about the teens and the elementary school kids it's not that those other oils are not used anymore i mean a lot of those you'll continue to use throughout throughout their growth throughout their growth as well but um there are several things that are quite common with elementary school age kids that um you're more commonly seen issues um like the first blend that we're showing here is the fidget fighter these are all gr a great combination of oils for common issues with attention and just attention issues and just with the long days in school i think a lot of kids struggle with this so i mean and like trisha said you don't have to have every single one of these oils uh, even if you had just vetiver or lavender and, and yang lang and they would all work effectively just this combination is a really great one to have too um and then talking about and then there's other blends too that would work um i actually really like in tune as a blend for the same issues and i've had a lot of success with that with my kids um and then obviously kids as they get exposed to a whole bunch of bugs and they're constantly getting sick we're gonna you're gonna have kids that are gonna have a fever and colds and flu and all kinds of things but um apart from supporting their immune system with something like on guard uh you can actually address a lot of the acute symptoms like uh, like a fever uh the peppermint lavender lemon oil combination is a great one to dilute really well and you can just use them on the bottom of their feet or down their down their spine and it just helps to gently uh, alleviate the fever the fever symptoms and another one for that i really like is lime that has really worked well for us too and we use that down the down their back and and very often within a few, within 15 20 minutes they've, they've kind of their symptoms have subsided and they're feeling much more comfortable um stress and just anxiety and uh that's something that I think a lot of people experience with their kids. Um, I have definitely had this experience with mine in the middle of a doTERRA call. <laughs> and my kid was throwing an epic tantrum. <laughs> and um, we stopped for a second and just when I went and put some, just rolled some piece on, on the bottom of his feet and down his back. And it was within like 30 seconds. It was just a completely, he was just a completely different person. I, I can't even, I can't even explain how quickly that worked. It kind of shocked me when that happened too. But I know a lot of people have had a really great experience with the with the the blends that are in uh, in in the piece piece roll rollerball or bottle. Um, next slide. Uh -huh. Okay. So another thing that a lot of parents will have to deal with throughout the years. I know Trisha talked about the ear, their ears and. Um, this is the combination she was talking about, the melaleuca, lavender, and basil combo. It's such a wonderful combination for ear, for ear issues because as soon as I start seeing them give me indications that there's the, an ear thing going on, I just automatically start rolling that on behind their ears and around and massaging it in and then down their, down, massage down their neck so that um, it's going into the lymph nodes there and helping to get rid of all of that, the stuff that's going on there. And it's worked like magic every time. And uh, lice, yeah, nobody wants to deal with that. So mm -hmm. uh, this is actually very similar to something that we use. There's obviously very different oils that you can use and they all have similar effects, but um, eucalyptus, melaleuca, and uh, we use rosemary too, which is another one. Uh, you can use that as lice prevention, even, even just putting it in a spray bottle with water and spraying their hair with it before they go to school. Or what I do is actually just put it in their shampoo and conditioner and when they're washing their hair and then it's just, then it's just in there. And um, it's been effective because so far, touch wood, we have not had to deal with lice yet, despite multiple um, letters from the school informing us of lice in the class. But, um yeah and i think we can all agree that we can not deal with lice in the house that would be great <laughs> uh let's see so <laughs> and oils is such a great thing for just prevention in general like 
to the lies for as, as an example, but also um, right now, especially with um, all the seasonal seasonal stuff going on and um, just all the pollen everywhere. And I know a lot of kids are suffering, especially if they're outdoors in the on the weekends, especially in soccer or whatever else they're doing outdoors. Lime and lavender and peppermint is such a, an amazing combination for I mean, not just kids, but any age. Um, we use it as adults too, but um, it's such a great combination for for relief of those symptoms. And and sometimes it's enough that they don't need to take anything else for it, and it's enough to support their bodies so that they don't need to be on any over the counters for it. This combo is an absolute lifesaver in our house. Game changer. If I didn't have this, I would be a hot mess right now, and I would not be here talking to you. Yeah. Puffed up and in bed and miserable. Yep you know, itch, itching like crazy. Um, this is totally saving me right now. Yep. And I'm using it with my nine year old who's also, he started all the sneezing and itching and stuff. And so I just took the rollerball and I said, breathe in from this for a minute, put some, um, he's a little older. So yep. I did put some near his nose. Um, and he, and then it, he cleared right up. It's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Definite game changer. Um, and then again, another issue is sleep for a lot of kids. This is an age that a lot of things are changing for them and uh, sleep becomes sometimes an, an issue where they're regressing or they're just having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. And there's a lot of different good blends for that, but Serenity and Cedarwood are both really great oils for that. And um, my kids actually sleep too well with serenity it's really hard to wake them up yeah uh, not, not but, allowed to use it during the week yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> and in that in that situation lavender is a good substitute for that yeah but um also vetiver as well is another good one for um for sleep support as well um so yes those are extremely important because we all know how important sleep is for the for their development uh next is there another one? Just a quick no. question before you move it on to yep. Debbie. As a yep. mom, we have three kids. Yeah. You have a lot going on. How would you describe, like, how does it make you feel to have this on hand? Like, what's your experience been? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's like night and day from when, how things used to be before we used oils. I mean, just this week, as an example, this past week that has... It's been completely insane. And my husband travels a lot for work. He was gone. It was just me and three kids and guaranteed one of them will get sick around that time. And I had, my oldest was just really, really bad. I mean, uh, and you know, my first instinct was not to call the doctor or go to the uh, corner Walgreens or it was, I didn't even have to think about that because I had what I needed right what there. The I just started using them. and it was, it's just so nice and empowering to know that you have these solutions on hand. You don't have to, you can rely on yourself. Yeah. It's like, it's amazing. Yeah. It's really, um, it's really amazing just to have something that works. Cause the reason that we got into oils in our house basically was because, um, of having issues and the conventional solutions just didn't work. They just didn't, they just didn't help. Um, or like the conventional doctor just didn't know what was going on, like with uh, Kevin's eczema, just mm -hmm. know what it's ca what's causing it, really had no solution. They said, you know, here is something topically you can use for like two, three days, but you can't use it any longer than that. And we were stuck and he was itching like crazy yeah. and bleeding and not sleeping. It was horrible. And so I just went on a mission to learn about more options because they weren't, you know, not because they were holding something back, but they just didn't know about other solutions. And so I just um, decided I was going to learn all yeah. this for myself. And I think everyone has a right to know it. And so we started using, you know, food as medicine and essential oils and understanding about, you know, good vitamins and all of the natural things. And that's the only thing that worked. <laughs> um, and so we yeah. started dabbling with the essential oils. I'm like, oh, that worked. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was that. Maybe it wasn't. Try it again. Yep, <laughs> that worked. And um, it and I started sure works. <laughs> other moms and all the other moms were like, "Oh my gosh, if I had known about this earlier, like I wouldn't have lost so much sleep and 
you know, it just wouldn't have been so hard all the time. Yep. Um, so it's just so empowering as yep. a parent to, to have this option. It is. And I'm grateful to have it now, but like y'all said, I mean, I wish I had this when, I wish I had known when my kids were really little. Yeah. And that's why I kind of, why I, I think that's why I feel like I feel so passionate about sharing it so that people do know and do have that option because I didn't when I was, when my kids were little, so. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right, let's pass it on with the teenagers. Yep. Yes, the teenagers. <laughs> So I guess I can jump in and say that um, for me, I, I love to, that I have healthy options just in my house, that I don't have to um, get in the car and drive to the pharmacy at eight o'clock at night because somebody has a really bad cold and, and we don't know that they're going to make it through the night without the cough and all of that. I can just open up my kit of oils and uh, mix something together and, and save that late night trip to the store, which is helpful. Um, my best advice, I think, if you have teenagers and you're just getting started with oils is to start slow. Um, I offer the oils to my kids. I don't force them to use them. Um, I definitely have been made fun of quite a bit by the skeptics in my house because I'm <laughs> obsessed about my oils. Um, but when they have an issue, they are starting to come to me and say, do you have anything for this or do you have anything for that? Yeah. Um, when I first started out um, with my older two, I, um, when I was placing my monthly order, I would say, like, pick something out. What would you like to get? And I let them each pick an oil. Um, and they each had a list like 10 oils long and I, and I made them pick which one they wanted to get so that it didn't cost me a fortune every month. But I think that was a good way to get them to be willing to give them a try. Um, my daughter uh, is more of an athlete, so she was choosing blends for energy and metabolism, um, things like Motivate and um, grapefruit that she could put in her water and things like that. Uh, my son was picking things for sleep and stress and anxiety and, and all of that because um, they're just in different places. But I think that was a nice way to help them get started. Um, the, the three buckets for me with teenagers are, are stress, uh, focus, and sleep, right? If you can get them to be able to do all of those things, hopefully you get through the days successfully. Um, so I, I, a couple of the blends that are here, there's so many that can help kids with focus. Um, my, my son has rollerballs in his backpack for school. He's got one for focus that's just peppermint and wild orange. Um, I have a diffuser on the kitchen island when they come home from school. We'll throw the after school blend in there while they're doing their homework. And it's just enough to help get them through that afternoon where they've been sitting in school for six or seven hours. Their energy levels are down, little healthy snack, a little something in the diffuser to help for focus, and I can get we can get through homework a little bit more successfully. A um, couple of ideas for kids that are athletes. Um, you know, it's baseball tryout season right now, so they're working muscles that they haven't worked in a long time. Um, my my older son is uh, runs track, so he's certainly running more than he did over the winter. Um, and Deep Blue is a really great healthy option for that. Um, I actually bought him his own tube of deep blue this year because last year he stole mine and it, every day I was like where's the deep blue um, so this year he just has one in his backpack um, he shares it with his friends he's got like the whole team covered um, but it, it's a healthier option I think for kids than taking more uh -oh. Oh, Debbie where are you I lost you <laughs> I know, it kept kicking her out. Um, I'll say in our house with the deep with the deep blue, um, it's been great. My my husband's uh, trains for um, a fundraiser every year where he rides two hundred miles on his on a bike to raise money for cancer research. And um, oh, wow. when he when he starts training and can get sore, deep blue. I'm like, we now have like a deep blue upstairs, deep blue downstairs. Um, <laughs> And um, the yeah. age on this quick caveat on the deep blue is for 10 years and above because it has wintergreen in it. So it's not for little kids. It's for a little bit older because um, of the wintergreen. Go ahead, Debbie, back to you. Sorry, my internet keeps kicking out. So if I disappear, okay. it's uh, it's because <laughs> I decided I should be done talking now. Um, I think we're ready for the next slide, though. <sighs> Did it just freeze again? Nope, you're good. Uh-oh. 
Uh -oh. um, anyway, while we're waiting for, I'll go back to the deep blue real quick. It comes as a rub, which is like a Ben Gay replacement. And then it also comes as an oil blend, um, just like a regular roller ball. So there's a couple different options um, for that, just based on your preference. Um, I think a lot of kids are used to using something like Ben Gay. It's a, mm -hmm. it's an easy swap out to, you know, to say this is the better version of it and do the rub. Um, and you can use that for sore muscles, aches, pains, bruises, more to like warm up your muscles, all that different kind of stuff. Um, let's see if Debbie's back. I don't know what's going on with my internet today, Trisha. I think you jinxed me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so teenagers and stress, right? Um, my favorite blend for that is Balance with Serenity. Um, my, this is the one that my son has a rollerball of in his backpack for school. Um, I also add a few drops of vetiver in there. Um, it's amazing. Um, kids, kids these days, especially high school kids, they're just so stressed out. I mean, they've just... The, the courses he's taken in school, he's, my son's a junior. Um, it's crazy how much they're learning in high school that I didn't learn till college. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the pressure is just a lot. So anything that can just bring down that anxiety level um, is really helpful. And there's so many blends that can do that. But my favorite is Balance with Serenity. Um, Vetiver is an awesome option for that as well. Um, you know, my son came home from school the other day and said, uh, can you make me one of those uh, stress blends for my friend Taylor? And I was like, sure, that's, that's fine. Don't mind sharing. Um, Saturday morning, he had to go and take the SATs. So as he walked out the door at Mojita, I handed him my Intune. and like, here, take this and take this for calming down. So if you can stay calm and focus, you're going to get through this test. Fine. Um, and he took them. So, you know, they, I think having them ready and available when, when they're going to need them encourages them a little bit more to use them. Um, and I think the, the, the last picture there, the migraine be gone. This is what made me a believer. I am a migraine sufferer. Um, Trisha can tell you how many times I emailed her and said, okay, what do you got for migraines? I need to try a different blend. Lavender, lemon, and peppermint with rosemary works really well for me. And I always throw some frankincense in there just to boost it up a notch. Um, less Tylenol, less Motrin, less painkillers, more oils to help with their um, healthier solutions for headaches. Uh, it's always a good idea. Um, and this is something I feel like they, if you use it consistently, it's going to work. Um, you can pull it out when you need it, but if I use this every day, then I am not getting a migraine ever. I've had one in a year, which is amazing. Um, so I think having a healthy option like that for kids is really great. Um, if you've got team, uh -oh. it it's frozen, just like Boston in general is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick note about she was talking about headaches. Um, everyone's a little bit different, you know, the whole yep. concept of bioindividuality. And so if one person says, oh, this blend is just amazing for my head pain, it doesn't work as well for you, just know that everyone's a little different and um, we all might need something a little different. So with a little experimentation, everyone can find their just right solution, um, but it may differ from person to person. And so we can help with that. Um, when you join our team, we also offer samples. So you can help, you know, find your solution without investing in full bottles of everything. And we help you try different things out and um, try different combinations and find uh, what's best for you. But just keep that in mind that we're all just a little bit different. Let's okay. check the chat here real quick. All right, perfect. Um, you know, some people I know just use peppermint and it's peppermint is one of the strong ones. So you have to dilute it for sure and not put it too close to your eyes. But some people just peppermint by itself um, will do the trick. Um, yeah. And sometimes, you know, we, we like to go for lots of blends because we're kind of oil nerds and we just like love our oils. But um, something I learned recently from my grandmother, who's 93, I was visiting with her and she's been using oils for maybe a year now. And she said, I can't tell you how much the peppermint is helping me. I have had heel pain. It was so bad I couldn't sleep. So I put 
peppermint rollerball on it and it worked right away and she was having really bad pain in her finger and she just used her peppermint rollerball on there and she said it, it helped right away and she was able to sleep. Um, and when you can sleep, that just changes everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think a lot has to do with like what's causing it too. I mean, obviously everyone's got it. It could be a hormonal based headache or it could be a stress or tension based one and lots and lots of different reasons. But um, I know a lot of people have good success with migraines with deep blue as well. Yeah, that's a great point is understanding the source of the, um, the migraine. And in our group, we also do give a little bit of other, um, you know, empowering information about how to understand the root cause of your issue. Okay. Um, so that while you're getting some rapid relief and help from the oils, we can also help you just become more educated about what's going on with your body and um, just, you know, the how essential oils are one piece of the puzzle. And um, we provide additional education about, um, you know, food and herbs and lifestyle stuff. And so you get that um, education as well. Yeah. Debbie, we said Debbie. your internet is frozen, just like all of Boston is frozen. Oh my gosh. It's, <laughs> it's so windy here today. I'm so sure there's like lines down somewhere. It's making me crazy. <laughs> it has not been an easy winter and spring. Have you even had spring? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Um, so with the teenagers, any, anything else you feel like people, people should know either, um, any other popular ones in your house or that was a great tip at the beginning about just like going slow and encouraging them and forcing them to use it, but making it available. I don't know how much of what I was saying about being prepared at sporting events got, but was that in before it got cut out? Mm -mm. So one of the things I try to do is when I go, I mean, I have a hockey player, a football player, a baseball player, a track runner, (laughs) softball, like we were at every sport. Um, So my, my thing of rollers that I bring with me, I've got a bruise blend. I've got a concussion blend. Um, My, my hockey player has asthma or, or allergies that cause asthma. Um, And I've had a lot of luck with him um, with a peppermint roller and we just roll it on him before a hockey game and he's needed his inhaler a lot less um, I have my allergy roller. My, my daughter's uh, softball team will all roll on this, uh, the energy blend before a game or some motivate or something that's going to get them really focused and in, into, um, into a, being ready for a sporting events. So I think they help from an, an emotional level with confidence, but they also help when, when you, something happens and you get a, a bruise or a cut or a, um, a headache from taking a fall that I, I have my oils with me on the field. And I think that's always been really helpful. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. We're going to um, go on to, since summer's coming up, just cover some quick ideas that are not age specific, but for the whole family about um, summer. And obviously when you swim a lot, um, the ear doesn't always drain, you know, cause you got to do this <laughs> with the water getting out of your ear and it doesn't always all get out. Um, so we love the idea of helping your ear to, to actually drain. And I'm very excited about this. We, um, were pretty good about it last year and I'm going to be extra good about it this year because, um, the swimmer's ear issue is, is something that happens a lot in our house, but, um, the purify blend lavender and helichrysum is something you can put into a rollerball and dilute it according to the age of your kid. And then after the pool, just roll it on there. Like Mojito was demonstrating, um, for other ear issues and put it around and massage the neck and get it and the lymph nodes and just get that all to drain out so nothing gets infected. Um, so that's an amazing one if there's a lot of swimming going on in your house. Um, also, you know, those, those summer colds and just stuff still happens. We t- tend to think of, you know, helping our immune system in the winter, but those things go around in the summertime as well. On guard is always our go-to like immune optimizing blend. Um, but if you want to make it a little more summery, you can add in some citrus bliss and, and grapefruit and make it smell a little better. Um, and then detoxing from chlorine. We um, don't always think about it, but they add a lot of chlorine to, to pool water to keep it clean, which is just an, a necessary evil. But chlorine is very, very harmful. If you haven't really um, learned about the harmful effects of chlorine, I encourage you to, to research that a little bit. But um, it's real important to get that off of your skin and um, 
you know, just rinsing off is not going to actually do it. Um, there is something, there's a, there's a vitamin C spray that you can use to help detach chlorine from the skin. Uh, and you can also take a detox bath um, and using Epsom salts and you mix the essential oils into the salt and then add that to your bath and some baking soda. And that's going to really help to actually get, to truly get the chlorine off because just rinsing with water alone is actually not going to do it. And then, um, you know, it also like the Epsom salts um, have magnesium and that's just really wonderful for the body. And uh, most people are deficient in magnesium. So you're getting a lot of benefits from just a quick 20 minute bath. Um, but that's something that um, we encourage you to think about doing. And um, just another quick little tip, a lot of um, tap water can even have uh, contaminants in it. So you could think about getting a little filter to put on your bathtub so that the water that you're bathing in to get uh, detoxed is also clean. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're just going to move on. We um, At doTERRA, we also have some other products that are not essential oils that are very, very popular. And we want to make sure you guys know about them because they're going to have an amazing impact on your kids' health. So I'm going to go back to Mohita and she's going to explain that a little bit more. All right. Yeah, I mean, we do talk about the oils, but... Uh such a key concept for almost every aspect of your health is that your wellness really does just begin in the gut. There's, um, there's so much supporting evidence now that it's not even disputed that um, our gut health is just truly foundational for maintaining our health. And the bacteria that we have in our guts, in our microbiome, make up our microbiome, it's, um, it's so critical for modulating and just uh, priming our immune system. And at the end of the day, it's our immune system that is keeping us healthy and, um, and, in, and in good health. And it also affects, and there's so much evidence showing that it affects both our physical, our mental, and our emotional health because of the gut-brain connections there. So that's really where some of these foundational um, supplements and products come in, come into play because, uh, we have adult versions obviously as well, but the, we're talking about the kids here, but the PBSS Junior is a really quick, easy, and the kids love it. It's very easy for them to take. Um, it's just a 5 billion uh, CFU probiotic, and those probiotics are great for just supporting our gut health and ensuring that the right bacteria are thriving in there and supporting our immune system and our mental, emotional, and um, physical health too. And they taste and then, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know many kids that don't, that wouldn't want to eat that. And they're like, they're pretty much like pixie sticks and just powder and you, you just pop it in your mouth and, um, and all the kids love it. Mm -hmm. And it's a, just such an easy way because they're not resistant to it, to yeah. taking it. Uh, the other two supplements that you see here is uh, the, the one on the right is the IQ, uh, IQ Mega, which is basically a really great way to get in your essential fatty acids that you need, which are very anti-inflammatory and great for your body in general. Um, and then the A to Z is a chewable multivitamin from, from doTERRA. And actually, can we switch to the next slide for this one? Sure. Yeah, so this is partly why it's so important to get the right kind of vitamins and the right kind of supplements because you could buy stuff over the counter and there's so many studies now showing like this example right here is just talking about how the most common vitamin that most people use is the Flintstones gummies. And um, they've been found to have so many things in them that are just not conducive to health. And then a lot of the uh, ingredients in them are synthetic vitamins, which your body really doesn't know how to absorb properly. And if we, Flip, if we flip that, and if you look at the doTERRA supplement, supplements that are available, they're actually food-based. And the bottom line is that our body knows what to do with those food-based supplements because it's food. It's something it recognizes and knows how to absorb. And it's such a great way for kids to get... My instructor actually likes to t talk about it as an insurance policy. We, actually, we live in a world where our food supply and the quality of our food that we're 
that we're uh, growing and and is available to us is just it's just subpar. I mean, it doesn't have the mineral and vitamin contents that we want it to have and that it used to have even 10, 15 years ago. And I think everyone just needs some sort of extra support to fill in those gaps that we're, we're missing just in our diet and everyday life in what we're, what we're eating. So um, this is a really great way for kids to get what they need and in a way that's bioavailable and their body knows what to do with it and they're going to absorb it properly. Everything else, I would venture to say a good chunk of the over-the-counter stuff you can get because of the synthetic nature of it and a lot of the additives in it. You're not absorbing it, and at the end of the day, all you're doing is making expensive pee. It's, you're, you're not even absorbing any of it. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's a kid supplement line there. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once... Um... Once I started learning more about supplements and started turning over all the labels and reading it, I was shocked how many companies use the cheap synthetic version of something because most people don't know. Yeah. And, you know, might look good or sound good or the marketing might be really savvy. It might sound great. But once you learn how to read a label and check it out, you realize that is not something that you want in yeah. your body or your kid's body. And it's just, um, it's hard because who has time to learn all that, you know, as, um, uh, yeah. Most of us who are so passionate about health and wellness take the time to learn, but you know, average person doesn't, doesn't know that information. And so mm-hmm. that's why I'm so excited that all of us can, can bond together and, and be, you know, be warriors for sharing this information because people need to know so they can make their own decisions about what they want to do and not just be victims of uh, savvy marketing by these big companies that just make the cheapest product they can. And um, yeah. We're too worried about our kids the way we are. Um, One thing that I've done, because I, I think for me, the routine of remembering you take your vitamins was probably the hardest part. Yeah. Um, and I think when I started using the supplements, I, my body wanted them, but my kids don't necessarily know that, right? So I didn't forget to take mine because my body was like, hey, don't forget to take your vitamins. Um, but I got little, I had these little teeny bowls that I got, you know, I think they're ramekins that we used to melt butter in for lobster, but they're teeny. So I can have them just on the kitchen counter right next to the coffee pot. So I come down in the morning, I make my lemon water, I make the coffee and I put the vitamins out. So then as I make the kids their breakfast, their vitamins are just in their little bowl right next to their cereal. So when they come downstairs, they're right there and they remember to take them. Um, and I think just making it part of your daily routine is an important piece to not forget. Um, we're on vacation this week and I keep putting their vitamins out for them in the morning and they keep just walking by and not remembering to take them because they're sleeping all day. Um, <laughs> but it does help to have it just be part of your routine. Yeah. yeah, that's such a good point. We do that as well. I have little I silicone uh, cups we put them in and then I keep a rollerball right there at the um, at the island too and I yep. just go down the line and swipe their backs before <laughs> school. Yeah. <laughs> Same story. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Real quick, no, we want to make sure that if you're a parent that you know that there's oils for you too and that, um, you know, the kids might drive you to have a lot of different emotions. (laughs) Um, They come. So (laughs) you can use oils too, you know, if you're, you know, hiding in the bathroom (laughs) Um, or pulling your hair out. Um, we have, we have a lot of blends, and there's a whole emotion line of, of blends that will really give you a lot of emotional support if you need help with calming or um, any energy, pee, anything. These are just um, just so good, and I use some of these as perfume replacements as well because perfume traditional perfumes are highly toxic. Mm-hmm. Um, you can use these to boost your, your mood or manage your mood or as perfume. So just know that these ex- exist for you too and that you'll find a lot of um, empowerment using them for yourself as well. Yeah. Um, like we already said, a real basic collection takes you far. Most people get a starter kit and they just get like the most versatile 10. Uh, we do recommend getting a diffuser so you can start using them aromatically and start experiencing them and trying them out. Um, we also love roller balls and can teach you how to make some so you have them on hand. It's just real easy to use essential oils topically. But um, our goal is to make using essential oils not overwhelming for anybody. So um, you get started with some basics and we teach you how to use them and, and help you get into a daily routine with them. 
So we shared a lot of information today, um, but just know that, that um, we wanted to make sure that everyone could learn whether a beginner or someone who's been using oils a long time and wanted to have a little something for everybody. Um, but once you get into a routine and a habit with it, like Debbie was saying, it really just becomes part of your day. Like you don't have to remember to brush your teeth. You just do it and the, the oils become the same way. Um, if you are not yet with doTERRA, there's a great deal going on for the month of April. Um, you can get with the person who invited you to this uh, webinar. Um, you can enroll with, uh, with myself or Mojita or Debbie or if there's another wellness advocate who referred you here. Um, enroll during the month of April and if you place a qualifying order you get 50 free product credits into your account which means you get to pick out just about anything you want um, that's worth 50 points and you get that for free so it's a really really good deal um, your your order just has to be a hundred points and um, what most people do is get a starter kit like shown here and um, with the starter kit, you get not only those 50 free points, but you get a free membership. And doTERRA basically works a lot like Costco, where you can choose to either pay retail prices like walking into a store, or you can get your own wholesale account and get 25% of everything. Um, so it pays for itself very quickly. It's a $35 fee, or um, they waive the fee completely if you start with an enrollment kit. So um, it really- hey, Trish. Uh -huh. yeah. Andre is asking if the graphic with the kids on the bottle is that a basic kids kit. I think she might mean the supplement. So oh, is is um, these are just some roller balls I pulled off of Etsy just because I love them so much. Um, I, I kind of geek out about roller ball labels. <laughs> but this, this particular picture is not from doTERRA, but what we do is um, we teach you how to make these and then you can label them however you choose. Um, we have lots of good options for labels or. I actually just ordered a set of those for a colleague um, for a holiday gift for his son. Um, so it, it's a, once you get into it, it's a great way to do, I, I didn't, it's much easier to buy healthy gifts, right? Cute little right. labels. I already had the oils. I got the rollers ready. Done. Done with holiday. Yay. Yep. Yeah. And I like these are personalized too, especially if you have three kids in your house or multiple kids. It's just right. easier to, how you know whose who's is whose. Yeah. So you just buy the labels from Etsy and then you use your oils. Yeah, here's some other ones. Like these are some other labels that I had gotten. Or when you want to be real fancy, you use masking tape. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm a label maker. I love my label maker. Oh, I need to get one. <laughs> um, but any time now, within the next few weeks for sure, doTERRA will be selling empty roller balls. So you can get them all in one place. Um, and then it's super yeah. easy to make. And then um, we also sell fractionated coconut oil, which is an ideal carrier oil. Um, it's medium chain, it absorbs really well into the skin. Um, so, um, so most people start with some basic oils, the coconut oil diffuser, and then um, we teach you how to make up your roller balls. So, um, so yeah, so basically they have lots of good ways to make Oils very affordable. There's um, this good, great deal going on now. Um, if you decide to purchase after April, just get in touch with one of us. We'll let you know what the promotion is for that month. They always have something interesting going on. But the enrollment kits um, always get you at a below wholesale discount. And the bigger the kit, the more free stuff you get, and that kind of a thing. Um, but keep in mind that the oils are just pennies per drop because you only need to use a few drops at a time. So it's a very, very cost effective option. Um, the bottles last you a really long time. Um, so feel free to reach out to me. Here's my, uh, my email address is on here and then I can put you back in touch with um, either, you know, Mojita or Debbie or another uh, coach uh, from our team. Um, any of us are happy to help you um, get set up. And uh, what we do with most people is you, you place your order and then you get um, a free wellness consult. So a free one-on-one -on -one conversation, with one of us to help you understand how to use them for your particular situation, for your uh, personalized goals. And we make sure you just feel completely supported and um, empowered with as much information and tips and ideas as you could possibly need. Yeah. Um, so let's see, any more questions? Um, so that's about it. Le um, well, I, I did um, have one more slide to show you just in case I thought somebody might have a question about exactly where to apply them topically. And we talked about with babies, it's a lot of um, 
on the bottoms of their feet and up down up and down their spine. Um, and if you are into reflexology, there are, are specific places on the feet where you can apply them. But um, if that's a foreign concept, you don't worry about it. You just do it, swipe it up and down the feet. You don't worry about it. Um, uh, behind the ears, we talked about, um, for a little bit older kids, you can do their wrists, you know, because they're not going to be, you know, with, with babies, you don't want them like licking it or anything like that. Um, and uh, certainly for older kids and, and for parents, you know, putting it over your heart is uh, another great option. So that's a question I get a lot about. You said you put them on my skin, but I don't really understand where. So um, that gives you some quick ideas about where to apply them topically. Um, we would love to help you out. Let us know if you have questions that we didn't answer or if you want to follow up. Um, um, ladies, anything else before we, we end here? I think we're good. We love our oils. We want everyone yes, we else do. to feel to feel better too. We, we want to every penny, every penny. It yeah. ends up being it ends up being a actually more affordable option than your than your other choices much of the time. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. And um, we will be offering more webinars in the future. So if you have topic ideas, just let us know. And um, if you would like to join our Facebook group, you can look us up on Facebook. It's called Empowered and Healthy. And we hope to see you there. Bye. 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 <laughs>